Okay, let's take a shot at the word meteor now. Now this word, uh, as we've seen before, uh, we like circles and enclosed spaces because we get to put letters inside of them. Uh, great for some designs, depending on what we're designing. And we're designing a meteor. Now we're de dealing with some kind of spherical-like object that we're, or in our minds we're thinking at least spherical. So, uh, we're, we're dealing with circles. This is great. Absolutely great. So let's see what we can do. We'll start with the simplest combination. M, E, T, E, O, R. Okay. Not bad. It kind of looks like maybe we got something moving or some, some meteors moving, maybe. I don't know. But uh, let's try to do better. First, we can put the T inside of the E. So M, E, T. That is E-T. As you can see, we've got our T inside of our E. Then we can go E. Now, if we want to put an O inside of an E, I'll show you how. This is an E. If we do this, we've actually got E-E, -E, not O-E. This, or not E-O, this is E-O. As you can see, you have to get the line out of the middle there to clarify that it's an O. So this is E-O, and then we can have R. We could put R anywhere we like, and we could even, if the O was big enough, we could put the R inside of the O like so. Or we could even try connecting it off of there as long as it doesn't touch the end like that. I made a mistake. That should not touch that circle. So, let's try to use some of these double combinations to make a prettier meteor. So let's start. Now this M, I kind of like it. It could be a motion. M-E. Okay. Um, let's call this our meteor, and let's have it smacking something, maybe. Hitting a planet. Okay, that's not very round. <laughs> One more shot. If I don't get it right, I'll just keep moving. Me. Actually, it might be better if we connected that T at an angle like so, without making it a V. Sorry, the artistic portion of this can take some time. I'm trying to do this quickly. Me. T or. So we can go T. Um, R. Meteor. Not bad, kind of looks like a meteor might be striking something. We could try to curl the EOR over so that it looks like a shadow of the meteor almost. We, so we could start with the O and then do that. And then maybe it looks like there's something about to smack the planet there. Looks kind of nice. I'm kind of fond of that one. Now let's try putting it all into the first E so that we just got one big circle with an M little tail kind of leaking off of it. So we start with a quick M, giant circle. Now E. Actually, no, let's... First, I'm going to have to map this out. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So we've got T, E, O, R. So I just need an R at the end. I'm just just, just finding out what I'm going to need, planning out what I'm going to need in the line. Um, you can draw it piece by piece it's, uh, and do it like that. But I like to try to make it fluid. So we'd be looking at all the way down to the bottom, and then you just add an R at the bottom. Now you can add everything you need. You can go T, E, and no, I forgot one thing, my O. So I got to go down to the middle, put an O, and then put an R at the bottom. So we can, let's try to draw this in a single stroke here. Or not in a single stroke, but in as few strokes as possible. M, E, O, R, T, E, M, E, T, E, O, R. Not bad. Doesn't really make me think of a meteor, but at least we got a round shape. No, uh, you can keep going with it. Be creative. Start building off of it and build side chains. This word can give you tons of side chains too. So, have some fun with it.